So, in this example, uh, is this 21 or 27? 27. 27. All right. No, it's number 21, but the problem's 27. So, when you're doing a problem like this, the main important thing, guys, is to first rewrite this. First thing to do is to rewrite this as a, um, well, we can rewrite this as a radical expression. So, you could say, well, then this is the cube root of negative 27 squared. So, if you have a calculator and you're having trouble with this, then simply square negative 27 and then simplify by taking the cube root. Totally possible. All right, there is another way to do this. And what we explained is I want to be able to get rid of this rational exponent, right? I don't like fractions. So what I want to do is I want to say, is there a way that I can rewrite negative 27 to the third power? Because if I write it to the third power, then I'm having that power is being raised by that, and I can multiply them. So is there any way I can rewrite negative 27 as something to the third power? Well, let's think about it. 2 to the third power, does that give you negative 27? Negative 2 to the third power? No. What about negative 3? Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Yeah, that does work. <laughs> negative 3 to the third power times the 2 thirds. Why it's so nice to rewrite negative 27 as negative 3 to the third power, because what happens with the rules of exponents when you have a power raised to another power? You do what? Multiply. So guess what? Those cancel out. You're left with negative 3 squared, which is? Nine. Done. <laughs> if you prefer to use a calculator, 